Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video I will show you how to properly do the software update on our Helix uh, device. Some users have encountered many problems updating their devices but um, this is a very very simple activity to do and uh, we will read together the uh, instructions and the release notes. Firstly we have to download the latest version of HXEdit um, and um, the latest version is a uh, 3.50. We have two links, uh, one for macOS and one for Windows. After we have uh, downloaded and installed uh, our HXEdit software, uh, we can uh, log in with uh, um, our uh, Line 6 account and the system uh, will guide uh, through the update process. So, um, as you can read, uh, halfway through the update, uh, the system will uh, show on the uh, Helix uh, screen uh, boot failure, enter update mode. Uh, this is absolutely normal. Uh, we can uh, click on um, resume and uh, complete the installation. As we can read, uh, all the update process may take over uh, 30 minutes uh, to complete, so uh, we must be patient and uh, wait for uh, the complete installation. Many users have encountered problems uh, when uh, updating their devices because they have launched the update without uh, installing HHEdit first. So, this message to resume and wait for the second part uh, have not shown on the system. The Helix native uh, update is very very simple uh, because we have uh, we just have to uh, download the correct version and install on uh, our system. So we are done and uh, we have uh, some uh, FAQ regarding uh, 3.50 update. So uh, the first one uh, is uh, I updated uh, but uh, why don't I see model X in uh, HX edit? Uh, because uh, we don't have downloaded and installed uh, the 3.50 uh, version of uh, HX Edit. Uh, we must have uh, uh, the latest version to um, operate on uh, our device. The second one is uh, my Helix uh, is at version uh, X.6. .X. Uh, can I go straight to 3.50? Yes, uh, but uh, uh, if you start from uh, 2.80 or um, lower, uh, the update uh, um, will do uh, some steps uh, uh, between uh, 2.80 and uh, 3.50 and will take uh, more than 30 minutes. Uh, this is uh, absolutely normal. So, what happens if we don't have upgraded uh, our HX software and uh, our device is stuck with the uh, boot failure uh, screen? Uh, don't panic, um, we, can, uh, we can fix this. Uh, we must uh, download this uh, Line 6 updater. Um, uh, in the description box, uh, uh, there's the link to uh, the software page of uh, Line 6 website and we can just download this software and uh, as you can see we have uh, all um, all the line 6 devices uh, that uh, can be updated with uh, the line 6 updater obviously uh, we have uh, the version for uh, mac os uh, or uh, windows so once we have downloaded and uh, installed on our system the line 6 updater we must boot our device uh, to uh, firmware update mode and we have the third link that uh, you will find on the description box and um, if we have a helix floor or a helix rack uh, we uh, can boot our device in uh, update mode so uh, once we have plugged uh, our device uh, by USB on uh, our computer uh, and uh, boot in update mode, uh, if we have the Helix floor or uh, the Helix hack, uh, we have the instruction to do this. And in uh, Line 6 updater, we will find uh, um, the latest version to install on our device. Uh, so we can complete the installation and uh, perform uh, the factory reset. So as you can see, uh, this is a very simple update to do. We must uh, just uh, read the release notes and uh, follow 
these simple instructions and we can perform the update without any problems at all. So thank you for watching this video and a thumbs up if you liked it and please subscribe to my channel to more Helix content. Thank you and goodbye.